Welcome back to Dual Sided. Just a sad, sad outcome of, you know, Tony versus Benil. Uh Tony's, you know, this is his third loss in a row. I mean, it's disappointing. Um, you know, after going 0-2 in 2020, you thought you thought he was, you know, going to come in a different change, huh? Yeah, he looked worse than, <laughs> probably his lo- worst fight. <laughs> he looked pretty bad, to be honest. I mean, he he's 37, so... God, it's just it's tough to see. I mean, which is probably the cutoff for UFC fighters after the you know after thirty five. That's when yeah, it's, it's, like, it, it's there's a saying in the UFC that it's a young man's game. So I mean, he's thirty seven. Benil was thirty one, thirty two. I have no idea. Yeah, th- he ha- he looked way older than Tony, huh? Yeah, Benil with the gray hairs. Seriously, Tony's it's, going a little yes, bald, but still. He, just turned 32. Would you rather have Benil's hair or Tony's lack of hair? Just probably Benil. He just got a... Benil has thick hair. Yeah. Wish we had his hair. But anyway, um, you know, even in the press conference, Tony looked very confident, huh? Yeah, <laughs> trying to get in his head. He's definitely trying to get in his head. He <laughs> called Habib a, you know, bitch. He called, um, you know, he called uh, even Benil a bitch when he said, you know, Ga- you helped Gaethje. I know you helped Gaethje. You know, you're a bitch. You're about to get he slammed. Helped, yeah, he helped Gaethje. You know, he taught him a few pointers when he you know, beat him, it looked like. Yeah, and I mean, even Tony, and there was a report that he, the pay, the bonus, you heard about that the bonuses went up to 75000 yeah, What was that? Yeah, apparently, you know how Tony said, hey, Dana, you know how, you know, you know how da- uh, last time we were here, uh, Travis Brown asked for a pay, a uh, pay raise? And he's like, how about we get one? And then he did a Ric Flair, um, you yeah, know. That. And then Dana was like, he just moved on, which I thought wasn't going to happen. But apparently Dana gave in to El Kukui. And, um, you know, even Tony, when you know, you heard him say uh, you, to Mike Chandler, you got the Dana White privilege? Yeah. <laughs> you got to admit, that's you think he came up with that or not? Dana White privilege. That's, that's like co- comedy right there. Like that's yeah, He co- came up with that quickly. That's insane, but um, you know, you can't, you can't argue that he's not entertaining. But um, you know, speaking of the fight, he came in, but Neil was getting booed, huh? As he walked out, pretty bad. You know, it Tony. Was, the crowd was definitely going wild for. Yeah, it's Tony. T- Tony with the what's what type of music is that? The techno EDM. Yeah. You know, some the the same songs he's been, you know, the same exact music he's been walking out since he, he started. Um, but from the start, I mean, Benil. You know, Tony just, you know, with the, even he, tra- he trained with tr- Freddie Roach, which was supposed yeah. to help him with the, his boxing and striking and hopefully his head movement. But I mean, he got hit a lot, huh? Yeah. I mean, it started with the lay. You know, yeah. He Darius. threw, yeah, Darius, uh, threw, uh, you know, a few, a couple few legs. of for three. And, uh, obviously ended up with, you know, Darius, um, taking him down. And from there it, it looked and at one point, uh, it looked like Ferguson was, you know. Yeah, he he was gonna do his dar- his famous choke. I think it's called the Darcy choke, which he he submitted a lot of people from. I think that's the same way he submitted Edson Barbosa from. Um, and you know, Darius he escaped that pretty. Yeah, Darius did the right thing. He stayed calm. You know, I f- I feel like if he would have flopped around like a fish, that would have um you know tightened the uh, and gotten him deeper. But I mean, that was. You know the only hope, and the whole crowd was chanting "Tony, let's go, Tony!" like that. Um, but he got dominated, like dominated. He, the first, second, third on the ground. It, I mean, and then even the even leg, on, he got him with the leg. Remember? Yeah, he, but before that, even on the on the feet on his feet, you could. Yeah, Tony then looked. Darius took one that I wouldn't, which. I I was surprised about that, but Dar- he's not known for his. Strength. You expected him, Tony, to beat knock him out, huh? Yeah, he definitely he looked. He didn't look normal at all. Yeah, I mean it's is it's the age. It has to be the age. And you know they were saying it during the the fight that you know uh, his whole career he was wild and he was never like technical or polished. And ne- he's never been, but at least he he's never like focused on the fundamentals and. Obviously, as you get older, that's what you rely on. Yeah, and that's what that's what you know ultimately got him, you know, the loss, which his third loss. But you know, like I was about to say, the the I think it's the the clip or whatever it's called, the heel hook. I think it's what it's called, and um, and Benio almost uh, Joe Rogan was saying that he definitely broke something, huh? 
He said he tore, slipped and tore even a meniscus or and yeah, the, heel hook. Yeah, heel hook. He got you know Vanille got uh, Tony in a heel hook. And just the f- he and he was trying to get out. He was trying to kick at all Ol- at uh, Benil, uh And then Benil, I think Benil let him go. There's no way that he. I mean, he had it tight. I don't know wh- why he let that go. He could have ended it there, but in his head, I he had to think, oh, this guy's not gonna quit. So let me yeah. let me do and it a he, different way. After the fight, he said he heard a pop. So maybe yeah. he, you know he thought, oh, it's already popped. You know. Yeah, at that point, For obviously, from that point on, you know, Ferguson was finished. Yeah, even the coming in, t- you know, the next round, you know, as he got it, off the stool, he his leg just was shot, like shot. He couldn't yeah, move. Speaking of that one, he had it. Uh, you know, Ferguson obviously isn't someone who. Uh, oh yeah, the the push away. No, th- when he was on the ground, he, he's not someone who. He's a tough guy, so he was. You know, people. You know, if they started just watching him, they would think. Any other fighter would just tap out in that yeah. heel hook. Easy. Obviously, he was in agony. Just the obviously photos, right? I mean, this is the second time that he's almost been had a, a ligament broken or any type of his body like destroyed. Like the Oliver, he had the arm bar, which he's he hyper. He definitely, you know, tore something there, or it was just hyper extended. Like it was just crazy. But you, after the first round, you have seen the Tony push him out the way. Yeah, it's always been like that. Yeah, Tony, Tony's a competitor from in, from the beginning to the end. Uh, you know, so you gotta respect that about him, even though he's at nearing the end. But um, you know, who Tony's now twenty six and six. Benil is now twenty one and four. Benil is, you know, he's a legit contender, huh? Yeah, I think he is. Who do you think? Who do you think he fights next? I would like him to fight the. I like lightweight. It, yeah, lightweight. I I say, I say match him up with. You gotta put him up in the top five. Maybe, maybe him versus uh, Oliver. Yeah, Oliver was supposed to, was supposed to fight Benil, but I I would actually put I would have that fight before Oliver versus Gaethje. Yeah, but the Benil and Oliver was supposed to happen on October, like we stated uh, a few videos videos back, and Oliver pulled out for some reason, and Oliver then Speaking called out that, Tony. Who would, who would win that one, Oliver versus? I think Oliver, uh, the way the ground game after today kind of loses. Me. I thought yeah. Oliver was going to dominate. Yeah, Darius dominated so much. Yeah, but at the same time, you think who dominated Tony more, Oliver or Benio? I think Oliver dominated him. He, oh, no. yeah, so I, I think Oliver would still come out on top, but that would be probably the most e- equal match to, yeah, for for him, at so, least in the ground game. Yeah, they got to. You know, think about making that fight next. Um, or you gotta throw in Islam, huh? Islam Makachev. Like, I mean, he's yeah, maybe. he was uh, scheduled to fight Oliveira back in October, and then Islam had to pull out, uh, which I wonder how that would have went. Honestly, you know, because Islam is, you know, he's a tough, he's a tough fighter. He's similar to Habib. Um, you know, he still has ways to go, but you know, he's gonna be on top soon. But we'll get to him another time. But you know, like we just stated. You know what's next for Tony at this point? You know, third straight loss. You know, after going zero and two in the twenty in twenty twenty, even in the press conference, he was confident saying, uh, "This year's my bitch." Yeah, I definitely think he's done with main main cards, main events. Yeah, he has. I, this fight, would, I don't know who you know schedule him to fight this monster. Like, he they sh- they should have scheduled him to fight like guys. You know, I'm not saying not ranked, but like guys like. Not on the come up, not with the momentum. You know, Benil, you know, came in came in with a six fight win streak, I believe. Now it's gonna be seven. Um, but you know, it's Tony's time up. You know, that's a tough question to ask. But is he is he done? You answer that first. I think his I think his time is as his prime is. Yeah, it's, for way, sure it's way it's done. done. Some could argue that his prime's been done since the before twenty twenty. No, before Kevin Lee, like the Pettis, he, some argue that the Pettis fight was an old Pettis, which, I mean, I'm not going to argue that. And then the Cowboy was an old Cowboy. But, I mean, the, his last legit fighter that he beat was Kevin Lee in my eyes. So that was 2017. And then he, I think he tore something. He was scheduled to fight Habib a few months after the Kevin Lee fight. And I think the injury must have screwed him up. Um, yeah, if he... F- if he fought Habib, that would have probably ended his career earlier. There's, I mean, seeing what seeing what Oliver did to him for, I mean, first what Gaethje, and then the 
Gaethje, that definitely, you know, that I think that's what broke him. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, but at See, least Tony still had some fight in him. He went from fighting Habib to fighting someone who, you know, fought in what what notice. It was like pretty soon. Yeah, but at the same time, Tony was not prepared for. If I again, if I was Tony, I would not have taken the fight. If anything, I would not have taken anyone other than Habib. Like Oliveira did the right thing. Like Oliveira turned down a non-title fight versus I think it was versus Chandler and said, "I, I, my next fight is." For the title, and you know that's what Tony should have done, but um, it's a sad. T- you, did you answer? It's Tony's time up. Yeah, I'd say yeah. It's it's, you know, it, as a contender, it's one hundred percent done. It, it's his time up as a UFC fighter. I think he can. He's still marketable, huh? You seen him? You know, yeah, getting, definitely. But I not against contenders. You can't if I'm the matchmakers. I don't. I don't. You know, match him with legit contenders because it's gonna end. It's gonna ruin everyone's mood. Like everyone after the fight, like they were. Yeah, everyone's in a room, for him, and it's gonna just, it's just. They're gonna be disappointed. And then they were booing Benny. What? What? Benil asked Elon Musk. I want to take this time to shout out or call out Elon Musk. He, he said like. He asked for like a rocket or something. No, he asked for a Tesla. He's like, oh, my wife is pregnant. He asked for. I it was kind of model. It was the one of the cars. It was kind of cringe, huh? Like he, I, I would expect. I thought it was kind of funny, but I mean, it was the out whole, of his element. But the whole audi- the whole you know, crowd was just upset that you know Tony lost. You know, just just insane. You know, El Kukui, You know, one of the toughest the UFC has seen. Um, you know, once once on a twelve fight win streak. You know, now is in a three fight wins three fight losing streak. Just hope that he's okay. You know, mentally, and you know he doesn't give up. I, re- I honestly thought he was going to be a different El Kukui this fight, huh? Than yeah. last year. But, you know, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens with him. You know, hopefully nothing, you know, hopefully he doesn't get dropped. He, hopefully nothing happens, but, you know, he has to, he has to figure something out. You know, so once again, thank you guys for watching Dual Sided. You know, follow us down below at Dual Sided. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, comment, subscribe, and, you know, like share the video and uh thanks thanks for watching peace